Welcome back to another video. And guys, as you can tell from what we have right here, we're adding something new to the channel. This is something that I've thought about doing for quite a while now. And it's, you know, it's really, you know, caused some steam in my, within my brain in the last couple of weeks. Do I want to add these to the channel? Do I want to really dive into this line? And the line I'm talking about, as you guys can see, I mean, these are Hot Toys figures. These are one six scale, um, almost like replicas, basically, of, you know, figures from the movies, guys. These things look amazing. They are the best on the market. They are a premium collectible. They are not cheap, guys. I will, I will put it that way. With these, when you dive in, you know, you pick the line that you really want to try to collect because you're not going to be able to afford, afford you know, to get them all. That's just the truth. I mean, unless, unless guys, you have like infinite income, you're not going to, so you really have to pick and choose with these guys. And, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the, of the MCU and there are some MCU figures that I do want to pick up. So this is really what I want to do. Just get the ones that I really want, you know, that I really want to pick up, you know, talk to you guys about this. You know, this is a first time thing for me. I'm hoping this video, you know, other guys do, you know, tons of guys on YouTube do videos about Hot Toys figures. You know, their setup is a little bit more advanced, I guess, <laughs> what I have here. But, you know, for now, this is, you know, basically, you know, it's it's a growing thing. If this does well, if you guys like this kind of video, you know, hopefully, you know, we can grow together. You know, you guys can, join, you know, come along on this journey with these Hot Toys. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to try to do the best that I can, you know. When it comes to figures, I know some, not a lot. I'll try to do my best best to really you know show you guys exactly you know how good these are and i just hope you guys really enjoy this video you know um i'm hoping to maybe get a shelf in the back here someday maybe put some of these on display because i do have quite a few more coming guys i kind of went all in on this and you know the first one as you guys can see it is ant-man this is styled after his uh how he looks in ant-man and the wasp hint guys wasp is coming i do have her coming because I, I really enjoyed that film so I really wanted to have both of them together. But let's take a look at Ant-Man. I've already opened, I opened them up yesterday because I really wanted to just get an idea of what I was dealing with when I, you know, talking to you guys about these. But, um, yeah, this is pop open, guys, because there is a lot to show with this thing. You, you definitely get a lot with these. Um, these are all numbered. This is Ant-Man MMS 497, one six scale figure, Hot Toys figure. So guys, let's take a look. Let's just dive right in. Or this video is going to want to be in like two hours long. And we don't want that. So we have this card here. Just show you know, all the guys who are, you know, behind you know, behind making this, you know, sculpting this, putting this together, making this look as incredible as it does. And believe me, guys, he looks freaking phenomenal. He is amazing. Let's pop the plastic off of here. Let's take them out here. It'll be a lot easier. What we have in the back, in the packaging here... It's almost like a display stand that comes with it. You can kind of like, you know, backdrop, you stand this up, you put him in front, you know, just showing off, you know, saying Ant-Man and Wasp. If we get a chance, I will try to put that together as quickly as I can, guys, to show you because I have not done any of that. But let's just go ahead and let's, let's take this apart. Let's check this out. All right. Now, as you guys can see, let's just show you right here. Where every, uh, everything falling out. Like I said, guys, trial and error with this video. Just bear with me. There are a lot... And like I said, trial and error. We have a hand, Ant-Man's hand, falling out of the package. But guys, as you can see, I mean, there's just a lot of goodies that go along with this set. Definitely, you get a, you know, you get a lot. Like I said, these are pricey. But I mean, these are best on the market, guys. They really are. I mean, unless you're going just full-on, straight-up statue with no articulation, these are about as good as you're going to get. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Now... Let's take a look, guys, and he just is amazing. Look at this, guys. We have Ant-Man. We have the articulation, arms up to the side. We have him pivoting to the front. He can, you know, flex his arm, make, you know, you know. Like I said, guys, is, just bear with me. Arms down to the side. But like I said, full mobility going front. Can't really go back because the suit is a little bit limited. You know, with the, with Hot Toys, another thing too, because I have dealt with some Hot Toys in the past, you really have to be careful with the um, the costume, basically, the, the outfit that the uh, figure has. 
Some are a little bit more stretchier than others, so you really don't want to hold them in too hard, in too much of a position for a long time. You know, you can, you know, run into issues like that. But just really, really nice, guys. Hands are removable, as you guys can tell, as, you know, as we just had the hand fall out. We have movable, uh, removable hands. You can change out, you know, different poses. I'll go and I'll show you guys that. Um, as well as his feet are removable, but we don't have any interchangeable feet to go along with this. But, Again, just close up for you guys. Hopefully you guys can, you know, make this out. Just and then the detail with this. I mean, this is a stretchy kind of suit. I mean, I really can't pull too much on it, but it's a stretchy kind of suit. We have, like I said, have art articulation. No, I mean, you're going to get some bend with the articulation. Not too much. But you can definitely get him into a pose. You know, his knees. You know, he can, he can crouch down. You know, we do have a little bit of, you know, going forward, back, a little bit of ab crunch. You know, we have full swivel, right, you know, right, left with the head. Now, the head is amazing, guys. It's something I didn't get a chance to really do. Um, there are batteries included with this. We can take a look at it. If we have a chance, I'll take a look and see exactly what that entails with this figure. But just take a look, guys. I mean, if you can get, I don't know how good, like I said, guys, I'm dealing with, you know, with the camera that I have. But you can actually see. There's like another fate sculpted within the mask itself of Scott Lang, Paul Rudd's character. You can see the eyes. Everything looks fantastic. He is, it just blew my mind when I saw this figure, when I got this figure. Really, really happy to get this. Just amazing. Now, another thing we can do, because they are on ball joints. Let's go ahead and just take a look. Let's see, pop this head off. Now, this is where you got to be careful. Because these are not easy to do. We have a see, we have a nice ball joint right there. Some of these can be a little bit difficult, you know, tricky to move. But there's the head right there. Just get, get a little bit closer idea of what we're dealing with here, guys. The sculpt is, you know, even when you see like other, you know, other videos with these figures, until you actually see them in person. These videos just they don't do them justice. It does not matter. Even if the video is in 4K, it doesn't do it justice. These look incredible once you get them in hand. And definitely something that was something that a lot of people were complaining about with this figure. It was something that I, you know, I was a little bit concerned about. Was the Paul Red, uh Paul Red, Paul Rudd head sculpt. And um guys, it's it looks fantastic. It really does. I mean, as you guys can see, I mean it does have the Paul Rudd likeness. You know, I saw a lot of people complaining, you know, saying, you know, too much of a smile, too much of a gap in his smile. But, I mean, getting this in hand and seeing this, like, in person, not a problem at all. You know, and now, you see, we'll try to pop this on to the joint right here, onto the ball joint. And, guys, check it out. It is Paul Rudd without the mask on. And we do have this little extra accessory here. Basically, you know, if you want to kind of add this on, you know, for uh, for effect, you know, like kind of like half the mask on, half the mask off. But again, the articulation is there, guys. Right, left, you know, down, back. Not bad at all. I I quite enjoy that quite a bit. I mean, we, uh, let's keep Paul right out here for a while. Let's keep his head on there for a while, and let's take a look what we have now. See. They got a lot, everything's wrapped in plastic. You know, with Hot Toys, these things, they definitely come well packaged. There's no, everything is so, you put, they put styrofoam in here. I mean, just look at the stuff that you get with these things. But guys, I mean, he's, his legs are completely protected by this foam. Really, really nice. Some, you know, some nice, um, like a cloth packing here just to protect, make sure there's no paint rub or anything like that. So they definitely, you know, they pack these things very, very nicely. You know, I already pulled, before I did the video, I already pulled off the feet, everything around the feet and the wrists, because they are ball jointed, everything comes pl plastic wrapped. So that's very, very nice and tight. This way you don't have to worry about any kind of breakage, you know, during shipping. But guys, let's take a look and see. Because this, look at the, let's, go, let's put the stand together. Let's do that. Even the stand is wrapped up. And if you guys have made it this far into the video, I appreciate you guys so much. You don't even know. Because this is something I have really thought about doing for a while. And I was nervous because I really, you know, when it, I know some figures. I was really big into figures 
years ago. And, um, you know, I've kind of gotten out, out of it over the years. But I really just wanted to show my love for the MCU. Not just for the MCU, because I have figures coming. Mostly MCU stuff right now. I, have, I do have a DC figure coming. I have a Star Wars figure coming, too. Um, that's going to be down the line. Because when you order Hot Toys, some of these figures take a year, year and a half. Even sometimes even two years before they finally do get released. It, it is a long process. And because these figures, like I said, they are pricey. Like, you know, a lot of places, you know, like um, like Sideshow Collectibles, they offer uh, payment plans. And you kind of have to do a payment plan. Especially if you plan on picking up an Iron Man figure. Because <laughs> he can be kind of pricey. I actually have an Iron Man figure on reserve. But he can be kind of pricey. But guys, check this out. I mean, you just kind of like, kind of the stand. Kind of just go up you know, into, the, into the crotch area. But that basically just gives you, you know, an idea. He stands here. The base just pops right in. Says Ant Man and Wasp on there. Hopefully, my hand's not blocking it too well, too much, guys. And again, it sits nicely. I mean, it, it will display very, very nicely. I mean, you can kind of actually pivot his hand, his arm up. Maybe we can actually get Mr. Rudd here to uh, hold his helmet, which would be just fantastic. Can we do that, guys? Can we do that? Or am I going to complete? Oh, look at He's holding the helmet, guys. Okay, nobody breathe too heavy on the <laughs> It might fall off. But let's take a look at the other stuff on here. We have, again, they give you plenty of extras with this. We have extra set of hands, kind of, kind of like in a fist, um, fist pose. Oh, and I dropped the hand. His hand's falling. Okay, I'll pick that one up after the video, guys. Again, trial and error. This is how we do it on the Cinema Dado channel. We don't run everything <laughs> completely 100% perfect. But that's all the fun of it. If it complete, that is how we have fun, you know? And if you guys seen any of my video, other videos, you see everything does not run smoothly. You know, loose discs in the case, but I'm getting off track. I always keen to get off track. But we have some of the, you know, these hands, kind of like a fist hand, uh, fist pose. You know, the hand, the, the fingers can actually bend a little bit, so you can actually kind of like slide things inside. So just really, really nice, guys. But that's not just, not just that. Look at these, these are open hand. Hopefully I won't drop one of these. We got right and left here. So if you want to have him like more of an open hand, like in the combat pose. You know, definitely they give you that stuff. That's excellent. Now, what else do they give you? They give you... Now, this is the one thing I think I was thinking about. Hopefully, I think this is the... I, if I'm not mistaken, guys... Yeah, okay. This, if you guys have seen Ant-Man and Wasp, so basically the entire building, has, the lab, um, gets shrunk down into Ant-Man size. And this is basically, they have the lab shrunk down like a, a, you know, a small a mini version with this set. And they have the handle, you know, basically for carrying this. But not just that, because in the movie, you know, because it has wheels on it, they make it almost into like a suitcase easy to roll around so they give you the small handle which is right here which I just pulled out and you can interchange that with a bigger handle so he can actually it man can actually you know drag the uh, the lab along with them make it almost look like a suitcase good way of getting it around without people knowing exactly what it is so that's just something else that they've added in to this set like we were talking about earlier you know pretty much we have this half the mass I, I Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm still trying to figure out exactly if this goes here, here, or where it goes. But, again, that's all the fun of everything. And I will figure that out at some point. Like I said, we're going to, you know, have lots of figures coming. Just like a heads up, you know, one of the next videos, I the, actually, the next video I have coming that's going to show off Hot Toys, I have Star-Lord uh, from the Guardians of the Galaxy, Chris Pratt. Really, really nice likeness uh, of Chris Pratt. That is from the uh, Infinity Infinity War line of Hot Toys figures. So that was going to be the next one. You know, sneak peek. You guys can check that out. If you guys want to, you guys can check that one out. I'd really appreciate it. Now, also included, we have... Now, hopefully I can get these up because these that's the thing. Some of these are really, really small accessories. You don't want to lose them. These small little discs. And guys, I'll be honest. It's been a little while since I've seen the film so... I can't really remember what he uses these for. 
you know, leave a comment. Tell me, guys, because it's been a while since I've seen. I really got to go back and watch Ant Man and Wasp again because I really enjoy that a lot. One of those films that you know you just don't you see it and you you know because it, it's a lesser known character basically for the MCU you know, and maybe people don't really take it, you know you know really look into it that much. But the first Ant Man movie was fantastic. I really really enjoyed that. And Ant Man and Wasp was just great. I, I'm really looking forward to the third one. You know, when, when they definitely, once Evangeline Lilly became Wasp, and you had two of them playing off one another, really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. But, look at this, guys. Now, of course, Ant-Man, he shrinks down, and look, we have a little mini Ant-Man. Hopefully, you guys can see it. It comes up pretty good. So, we actually, hopefully, I'm going to try to do this on the camera. We have him standing on the stand, on the base, on the stand. Let's put the little mini Ant-Man right next to him so you guys can get it. I don't hopefully you guys can see that in the video. Get a little bit of a comparison. I mean, he, right here, you know, top of my finger, that's basically how far he comes up to compared to actual, uh, you know, Paul Rudd standing here as Ant-Man. You know, Paul Rudd, fantastic as Scott Lang. The likeness is definitely there with the mini Ant-Man. Fantastic. We do have some batteries, which again, guys... I'm going to be honest, I'm trying to figure out exactly what lights up in here. I probably should have looked into that before uh, before making this. But you know what I'll do? You know, if I can figure this out and get this, maybe I'll pop him back out when I do the Star-Lord video. Because I think Star-Lord might actually take some batteries too, if I'm not mistaken. Some sm uh, small watch batteries. But we'll figure that all out. You know, when I, and hopefully when I come back, I'll just do like a little, you know, recap, recap bring him out real fast and show you guys exactly you know, I can't figure it out right now. But we have a little extra, little extra arm pegs, just in case you, you know, the wrist break when you're trying to, you know, remove them and swap out other hands. Now that is about everything that we do have. Let's put this right back here. Let's go and put some of these small accessories back in the packaging because, like I said, you know, if you're really going to display like those small pieces, like for me, I'm, I probably won't. I mean, honestly, I get it if I get them up onto a shelf. I'm probably just going to display him, you know, like this. Um, whether or not I'll keep the helmet on or off with him holding the helmet, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe keeping the helmet off. Um, just because the, when I do get the Wasp figure, the Evangeline Lily figure, if she looks anything like, if she looks as good as she does from, the, you know, pictures I've seen or other videos of, uh, you know, unboxings of her, she looks amazing. And... If she looks as good as that or even better when I actually see her in person, that might be an idea where I just want to kind of just keep the helmet set, you know, like I'm holding their helmets. I could go with that too. So, again, that's just an idea that I might have. But let's go ahead and let's put little Ant-Man back here before he gets lost because I don't want that to happen because he is just too cool. And let's go put these hands that look a lot like Spider-Man hands to me, if you really ask me. These would be great for Spider-Man we do get quite a bit. I had to pick up that hand that, that fell. Not good when you lose your hand. But let's go ahead and let's put this one back as well. And again, guys, you know, I know I said it a few times already in this video, but I really appreciate you guys sticking around. You know, it's a, like I said, it's trial and error with, you know, trying to do it. But I really wanted to talk about Hot Toys figures. This is something I really wanted to get into. You know, not just with the movies, not just with the games, but definitely with these. Because, you know, these are movie related. And... These are just going to look fantastic once they are displayed up on a shelf. Now, we do get an instruction manual. You know, how to take, you know, what are the right ways to pose the figure, what you don't want to do with the figure, you know, just being really, really careful with this. Because, yes, I mean, it is a figure, but it's it's a collectible. I mean, it's not, it's not a toy. This is, kids, this is not a toy, okay? <laughs> so, you know, this is a high end for adult collectors. It really, really is. Moms and dads, you don't want, you know, unless your kid is just going to put them up on shelf. I mean, I've always, I've already, I've already told my girls, my girls, you know, think these look cool. I already told them, I said, you know what, guys, we've got to be really, really careful with these. Because daddy can't be buying other ones, replacements. Because you've got to be really, really careful. But, okay. So, actually, I can, what I can tell, guys, from what I can see, there is an LED light function within the head, within the, uh, within the helmet. Let's see. Okay, I definitely see that. I see where that is at. Let's see. Now, can we... Let's see what we can do here, guys. Let's see. And it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to take a small screwdriver to 
get this open. So, unfortunately, it looks like right now, which would have been kind of nice if Hot Toys had maybe even provided like a little bit of a, a spare. I mean, this is a very, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is a very, very small screw inside there to get that open and, pop, you know, to be able to do this. Because you can be able, you'll be able to see the light, the, um, the eyes will light up inside the mask. So what I'll do, guys, I you know, I, I promise, guys, next time when I come back and I do the Star-Lord video, which will be in the next couple of days, I definitely want to get another one going as quickly as I can. But when I come back and do that, I'll bring him back out again, and I will show, you know, with the batteries in the helmet, and I'll show him all lit up. Because it's definitely not hard to get this out. I mean, you just got to pop that top off. I mean, that's, it's as simple as that. I mean, that's nothing to it at all, guys. But this is just a really nice figure. But I would definitely guarantee I will do that. And, if, you know, like I said, if Star-Lord takes that, I will make sure I'll check ahead of time. It's just I was really, really excited to show you guys these things. I could not wait. I got these from Underground Toys. Um, these guys, if you go to, um, like, just type in, I think it's like Underground Hot Toys or something like that. Something like that. Un uh, hot underground 1-6 scale figures. These guys ship quick i mean let me tell you they ship really really fast i ordered the i ordered um ant-man and star lord on thursday i think it was thursday late like late thursday night and i got them from on uh on saturday already they came ups and it was fast really really fast but guys um you know that's about it for tonight i just went well Let's show. Let's see. Let's see what we can do real fast, guys. Again, I don't want to drag this video on and bore you guys too much. But as you guys can see, I mean, I'm just, I'm really pumped up, really excited about, you know, finally diving into into Hot Toys. Um, you know, just something I really, like I said, thinking about doing for a long time. And I hope you guys are get, get ex, you know, as excited as me. You know, watching these videos, checking these out. And I hope maybe you guys, you know, if any of you guys watching this, if you decide to pick one of these up. Because of checking out one of my videos talking about these, please let me know. That would really make my day. I would really appreciate that a lot. Because it would make me feel like, you know, like you guys, you know, enjoy watching this kind of stuff. And and again, you know, I, I mentioned actually my cousin who watches my videos, He uh, he's watched like all my videos. And um, you know, shout out to you, Ryan, my cousin Ryan. But um I told him I was going to be, you know, making one of these videos talking about it. I gave him like a little sneak peek, took a little picture of Ant-Man. And he was super excited. Could not wait to see me do one of these videos. So I hope he enjoys it <laughs> as much as, you know, as much as I'm enjoying it. Talk, you know, enjoying talking about this. But this is the base. Let's see if we can figure this out, guys. Again, trial and error. You guys are here with me. You guys are definitely here with me as we try to, uh, try to do this. Again, I'm no, uh... I'm no professional when it comes to, you know, putting these bases together. But you know what I'm going to do because I don't want to mess anything up right now, guys. Again, we're going to get better as we go along. You know, just a sneak peek I have. Um, I'm going to tell you guys everything I have coming. Um, maybe not right away, but definitely within the next few weeks, in the next, you know, next month or so. We have, you know, obviously we have Ant-Man. We have um, Star-Lord coming in the next couple of days. That's here, you know, and I'm, yeah, he's going to be up the next within a week. His video will be up. Um, we have Gamora is coming. I'm like, so excited about getting a Zoe Saldana Gamora figure. Wasp is coming. We have Aquaman, uh, Jason Momoa from the actual Aquaman movie. Not not in his Justice League apparel or uh, attire, but from the actual Aquaman film. We have um, also coming Black Widow, uh, Scarlett Johansson from um, Endgame, Endgame Black Widow, which I am super excited about getting that. And... Um, Right now on pre-order because, like I said, with, with, pay, with payment plans, we have I have um, Cap Captain America coming from uh, Endgame from Endgame and um, Iron Man the uh, Mark Fifty from Infinity from Infinity War. I gotta think about that because there's been so many figures released down the line for the Avengers figures, and um, yeah, not just those two coming. But I also have, on pre-order, I have Mando. I have Mandalorian along with Grogu, the child, the two-pack with them coming. So that will be down the line as well. So just to sneak, you know, just give you guys an idea. Like, I really went all in getting some of these. I really want to set up a nice display sometime. But what I'll do is instead of just trying to put this together and maybe take a chance of messing this up, we'll just kind of go put this right behind here. To just give you guys an idea of what it will look like when you get this all set up. It's going to look really, really nice. Now, whether or not I'm actually going to do, do this on the display or not, 
or when I get to that onto a shelf, I'm not sure yet. But you see, I mean, just having him in front of this, it's going to look really, really nice. Really nice. So guys, again, this is the uh, the Ant-Man Hot Toys figure, one six scale. And if you made it to this point, I appreciate it so much, guys. You guys, you know, this is this has been a crazy, crazy journey between the movies and then adding in, you know, with the games. And then, you know, now really stepping it up and trying to do these, you know, these reviews talking about this. You know, a lot of guys, you know, we talk about, you know, the articulation, the double, you know, the joints and everything. I, and I'm, again, we're going to get better as we go along. We're going to take this journey together, hopefully. Hopefully, you guys will hang in there with me. And, guys, please, you know, like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance. You know, let me know. Is this cool? Is you guys want really, are you guys going to be, you know, checking out other videos? Hopefully, you know, I hope so. Um, in, are you guys going to enjoy seeing this kind of stuff? I really, I really hope you do. You know, this has been a blast to make this video, and I hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I've had, you know, making it and kind of stumbling and fumbling around doing this, you know. And again, I will, next time when I talk about Star-Lord, I will get those, I got the, I got the bad, three little, look how small these batteries are, little, little watch batteries. I will definitely, you know, pop those into the helmet for the next video, and I'll show that all lit up, put that helmet back on, the, uh, the figure, and show you guys all that. But guys, have a great night. And I will see you guys in another video. Take care. Bye.